to me. All right, so my name is Shambhala Motala. We met, um, I think, last week Tuesday, and um, we talked about portrait photography, and we took a couple of pictures in class, and I was meant to edit those pictures, but unfortunately, I lost them. I'm sorry about that. I'm very, 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 very sorry about that. Total respect to my models. But I had a crazy weekend, so I felt that I backed them up. And then I lost the images, but um, I painstakingly um, got um, four images there, and we'll be working on two of them to to show you what um, portrait retouching um, looks like. So I'm going to edit a picture of a bride, and then edit another picture of a client. Yes, I have a model here with good skin if we have enough time I might I might retouch our picture too but for a start let us start with um, this one here okay so we'll be using the frequency separation technique we um, using our mixer brush tool yes um, so let's get started without plenty talk okay so for those of us who I used to retouch him. This is um this shouldn't be strange to us. This is our camera raw filter. If you shoot raw, this is what pops up first. So I'll come here your lens correction, tick this, tick this, and then I use the 50 mm f1.4. Let's look at her face. Her face is not the smoothest around the world. She has a couple of um stuff here pimples here and there so we take that out I don't like touching any of those guys so I'll leave them there then I'll go ahead and open my image so this is the first image we're working on then let me go ahead and import my second image that will be the picture of um, the picture with the green background okay so where is it where is it where is it we don't have plenty of time. Why, why are you playing with me? Stop playing. Where are you located? Where are you hiding? Okay, here you are. So let's go to my desktop. The picture is located on my desktop. And then I'll pull the same. Okay, same Jew. This picture looks dark, so I'm going to fix that here. Increase brightness, increase shadows. Looking messy, so I'm going to bring down my highlights and then yeah this looks better than what we had at the beginning okay so I'm going to open this too that is our second image for today then let me see if a third image can be edited okay hold on wait a minute get it bigger okay let's wait for that to pop up then we'll bring in our third image for the day okay where are you okay all right so where is this image where is this image okay I don't think this image is here anymore all right if it's there then let's work with two all right <coughs> so what's the first thing we're going to do check out a face this is a clean face i'm not going to touch the background all i'll be working on is the face so what's the first thing you want to do you want to take out the blemishes on a face before you start painting so how do you do that there are million and one, one ways to do it you can use your um patch tool you can use your spot removal tool some people use clone stamp tool you can use anything anything that works for you is fine eight plus two is ten five plus five is ten six plus four is ten one plus nine is ten as long as you get ten the legit way then we're we're good to go so for me i use the patch tool just like this 
So I'm going to select these and then drag it here. Select these, drag it here. Select these, drag it here. There are some very um, stubborn ones that would require you use more than one tool, or you just use another tool entirely. Yes, you drag some pimples to another place and then they create something else for you guys. So you have to be very careful. So <coughs> We can't take it all out so the major ones that are so conspicuous we've taken them out i'm not going to touch our hair it's, it's beautiful just the face so i use a plugin called um retouch academy um and it is automatic you can actually do this whole thing manually but i don't do it manually i'm not a sophia person so <laughs> so why why do it manually creating high frequency low frequency high opacity and everything yeah just click on this guy loads up click on 16 bits on the frequency separation then it brings out this gaussian blur so i bring it down a little yes to sh show me a face now i can see a face it's blurry yeah but this um determines how smooth the skin is going to be when you're painting so i just love leaving it on 6.5 sometimes but if i don't have time i just drop it down a little so i click ok and then it does this thing Pam. high frequency that's for your texture correcting tones that is where we are working on and low frequency that's colors and tones sometimes you touch that too but most times you really don't have any business there so how does this work it's like you having tattoos done on your body you know your tattoo doesn't stay on your skin it goes under the skin yes so it goes under your skin drops the ink there and then when you have your birth or you put bleach on your skin the tattoo is still under the skin that is exactly what we're doing we're not going to touch the texture on our face it is going to be there permanently but we're going to edit under the skin to show up on the skin just the way your tattoo shows up on your skin but it's actually under your skin so um we won't be working on this free um high frequency we won't be working on the low frequency we'll be working on the correcting tones and then first thing we do is to uncheck this high frequency texture yeah we uncheck this now it's looking blurry like when we were doing our gaussian blur that pop-up box that came around so you need to come back to correcting tones now you go ahead and select your mixer brush tool so um if the mixer brush tool is not in your photoshop it's either you're using the oldest photoshop ever leave it or you don't know where it is so in case you don't know where it is um if you press down your shift and you click on this okay sorry alt changes this then if you long press on it on my system once i long press on this arrow down here uh don't shame me don't shame me don't shame me here's this thing now pop down pop out pop out all right it has started to shame itself so if you long press here and it doesn't it's actually meant to give you a drop down but if it doesn't do that or it drops down and you don't find yours there just come to edit here come to toolbar down here you see this customized toolbar so under extra tools if you scroll you might or you should see it yeah mine has been put under my primary tools that's it's on my toolbar so that's why you're seeing it here but in case it is not here let's assume how to add magnetic lasso tool so i will click on it let me look for where the remaining lasso tools are okay so i have lasso to just drag this in here it has added it there that is the same way you look for um your your brush tool and then you're going to drop it there okay so once you're done you click done right should be done good done all right so now we've clicked done and if it doesn't show up probably you're meant to click on save preset or something but done don't you just be done so once you have yours there just come back here correcting tones 
then you need to start brushing now there is a technique to it you don't brush light into darkness you don't brush darkness into light you brush light into light and darkness into darkness and then you don't brush the darker part of a face into the brighter part you try to brush along um the same axis the same tone and then some people brush this way some people brush this way some people brush diagonally some people brush circular motion in a circular motion i don't know all i do is i just brush <laughs> i just brush the way it comes to my mind so let me start brushing good sorry before i go on your mixer brush has its own settings these are my settings up here if it works for you fine you could check online you see a lot of settings just stick to what works for you but the important thing there is that one this must be clicked sample all layers must be clicked then this one crossed over you need to check it now what this means is that anytime I'm brushing and I lift up my pen or I lift up my mouse on click my mouse it will clean my brush yeah so let's say you're a painter and you want to paint color blue on your canvas once you're done painting blue and you want to paint red you won't just dip it in your red paint and start painting no you wash off your brush put it in red and paint if you want to paint yellow afterwards you wash it put it in yellow and brush so that is exactly what this does so it needs to be clicked down then this is meant to be transparent yeah it needs to be like this all right so once that is done you start brushing so you keep brushing you can see the movement the motion please my pen is not held down i'm releasing it once it comes up i brush down i'm releasing it click on old drag it down release here come here click old drag it down click off so i'm going to start painting right now in case i paint yeah now i've printed over her eyebrow you could easily press e or select your eraser tool once you select your eraser tool this is your eraser tool here then you reduce the size the opacity is on 25 because i want it to clean off sharp sharp i'm going to okay i think i have a button pressed down not shaking together and not running over okay so i just put this at 100 and here then i can easily clean this off oh i've actually been touching this guy all day all along so i'll come back to my brush to increase the size and then i will continue brushing you can make your brush bigger you can make it smaller yes to make it bigger you can just right click yeah, once you right click why is it not right clicking it's meant to right click it's meant to right click i think i have a button that is held pressed down it's misbehaving okay this guy is misbehaving right now because i'm right clicking and it's not showing me anything okay don't worry let me just continue so if you want to <laughs> if you if your right click does not work the same way mine <laughs> works mine is not working right now you can just come and press there are two buttons in front of p to your right hand side on to the right side of your keyboard you have your p then you have the open bracket close bracket yeah so the close bracket open bracket yeah that's to reduce the size of your brush then close bracket is to increase so left hand side to reduce right hand side to increase all right so you can see it showing on the screen you can see the button showing on the screen so i need to reduce it to paint this part yes and then keep painting the moment you start painting you start seeing what you're painting in case you don't see what you're painting then something is wrong so it's either you've created um a selection using lasso tool and then you didn't deselect so if 
for example I use my lasso tool to select this part of our face okay and I don't deselect if I start painting here it's not gonna show it will never show it will not show so I need to come back here and deselect this deselect I see my right click is working now thank God and then go back to my brush tool and then whatever I do would show up all right so let's continue brushing let's continue brushing please be careful when you're brushing don't brush into what you don't want to brush into and always remember to increase and reduce the size of your brush now I'm thus fast because yes I've edited this picture like a couple of times if I did this video I did an under as our training so I want I don't look and start I don't come here and start looking silly like I don't know what I'm doing so I really know what to do and what not to do with this image and then yeah I've been editing for um, quite a number of years so it didn't take me five minutes to um, do this this fast all right yeah there are a couple of other techniques for editing your portraits but this is what I use and this is what I'm teaching all right to learn this would have costed you some money I know some top photographers back then that collected plenty of money to teach people this stuff but man what do I know <laughs> all right so I think I'm done with a face so I'm going to show you the results I'm going to click on eye frequency to show me a face ooh la la so this was before and this is after Ooh, looking good the texture on the face is still there we didn't lose it yeah did we no we didn't and then our face is looking smoother if you zoom out and our face is looking over edited there's something called eraser tool just pick it up and reduce the opacity to like 20 or 25 and then you brush it over the part that is over edited to reduce the effects of the editing on it so but this doesn't look over edited so let's just move over to our hands okay yes move over to our hands I love to have everything I want to paint and frame but unfortunately I cannot have this okay so let me start with our left hand now I'm going to deselect this then it becomes invisible now I'm coming back to my correcting tones select my brush to increase the size because the surface area is quite large and I don't want to spend the whole day brushing that so I'll increase my brush size and then I'll start brushing brush 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 you can see it, I'm brushing along the line of that shadow yes it's because I don't want that hand to be flat I don't want that to start looking like a dog baby so everything needs to be accordingly yeah so in case this is not cooperating you can just come back afterwards to you know um, to fix that okay so we are almost at our knuckles that is the tricky part I've seen a lot of pictures where the editor or the retoucher has deprived people of their fundamental knuckle right and their fundamental knee right you see some pictures and people don't have knees anymore ah what happened to their knee the thigh and the shin everything just smooth together what's going on right now what is their offense exactly so even from experience i can see that the end looks over edited but i'm going to show you once we click on our high frequency texture you're going to see that it is over edited then we're going to erase it okay so now this is it is it looking over edited to me it is a little to me it is yes it is and it's not looking natural anymore so I may have to do what give it some little erasing where's my eraser to your eraser to is E or you can just find it here just press E on your keyboard so the opacity is 100 
I want to take this down to let's say 25 so on at 25 I can increase the size of my eraser come back here uncheck this and then just brush it over everything everything just brush it over everything if it is still looking not real to you brush it again okay you can brush it as many times as you want till you have a desired result okay so click on this yeah i think this looks better this was before after before after before after the knuckles look a bit faded now not as dark as it used to be and trust me that is natural enough like you're editing to keep everything as natural as possible that's the idea so let's come to the other end okay come to your eye frequency uncheck it then click on b or check click on your mixer brush then you brush so this time we'll try to brush brush responsibly yes yeah, so we don't have to go back and start erasing whatever we brushed earlier okay so brush these brush these brush these and brush these okay so um who wants to see what we just brushed me 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 uncle i uncle i all right so let us come to eye frequency and check this out is it looking original yes it is yes it is but now i noticed something the face looks um more edited than the body okay so what we can do is pick our eraser brush tool and then you know paint it over a little to reduce the effect of the brushing on the face so i've selected my eraser tool 25 percent then i just just wipe wipe out that makeup a little okay wipe it a second time so for every time i click down and i wipe i've taken out 25 percent of the effect so if i click and wipe once i do it again that's 50 percent of whatever i painted if i do it three times that's on five percent and if i do it four times it means i never even worked on the face so now i think this looks better to me so that is that with frequency separation as far as this image is concerned we have touched the skin we have done our frequency separation on it but i'm going to give you a jar say thank you all right you're welcome all right so i'm going to give you a jar and the jar is that i'm going to show you how i color grade it's the funniest color grading you would ever see in this world but this is what works for me i like it i like it there are a million million and one ways to color grade some people buy lut's and all that you know but i have this my way of color grading and i'm gonna show you right now so the first thing i'll do is merge everything i've done into a new layer so i'm going to do ctrl alt shift e for windows but i use a mac so that will be command alt shift and e now it has created a new layer up here that's layer one so what this does is that everything we've done from here to here takes it together and puts it here all right so in case i do I make a mistake here I can easily delete this and then it goes back to to where I was coming from okay good so layer one I will come here and click on my black and white what's this guy doing black and white guy no 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 this picture was fine when it was colored okay but that's not where we're going we're coming to soft light to give you a little bit of contrast okay so at 100% it is too much so I'm gonna drop it to like 15 okay so before after before after before after it's not much but it's something so i'm going to now bring in my frequent my color grading magic but -da 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 -da. so it's going to open up i have a particular image i downloaded 
so I downloaded a tone color tone golden color tone okay not gold gold yeah it was good when I downloaded it so I gave it some Gaussian blur to make it very blur blurry then I twisted the color a little to give me that particular tone I always want to see in my pictures so every time I I retouch I always have that tone in my picture where is it open now open up on good 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 so let me come to downloads yeah it's quite far yeah you need to keep it safe I don't know why I'm even showing you guys should I still show you guys let me show you guys I'm already out with there so come here and skin tone grid ah no this is not what I was going to open now <sighs> oh it's, it's got telling me something it's got telling me not to show you guys okay god said i should show you guys hold on hold on hold on i don't know why opening this it's taking plenty of time it's taking too much time or if it okay so this is a skin tone grid now this is the secret this is the secret this is the guy so i'm going to select all that's control a control c if you use a macbook that's command a and command c then you paste command v Pass. paste now good so now our image is here um, so you click on this tool this one up here what's the name show me the name now move to yes all i know is the shortcut that is v when i press v it gives it to me so i'm going to drag this all over the image because i don't want to see vignettes at the edges of my image i'm going to draw it out but if i want to see vignettes i can just push it in so now it is covering on my image you can see we change our blend mode to soft light too the same thing we did with black and white change the soft light now i'm going to reduce the opacity to let's say 20. yeah good 20. so now i am going to take this up and push this down can you see the difference no you can't me too i can't but put it up here yeah that's what i'm gonna do so <laughs> now let me show you how far we've gone where we started from and where we are right now so we started from here and we're here start from here we're here here we're here here we're here here we're here we started here and now we're here let me do slow motion we started here and now we're here okay so this is it with the first picture our first picture is ready to be served hot <sighs> too spicy all right so that is that with that and let's go to the second image this is our bride cute looking bride yeah cute looking bride. so what's the first thing we're going to do good i give you sakamaji we're going to remove the blemishes okay take these out 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 the ones that are so so obvious take them out sometimes i love leaving some of them so i will still have some texture on my face okay so i'm going to leave it this way no no i'm gonna leave it don't beg me no I'm, okay let me take this last one out all right good so now let us go retouch academy frequency separation 16 bams all right good i'm i'm, I'm leaving this at 6.4 so let's see what it we actually do at 6.4 so good now we have our image click on high frequency to uncheck it come to correcting tones press b which is our mixer brush tool and then 
What's the next thing? Increase the size of your brush. Ellie, ooh, then start brushing. Okay, brush, 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 brush. Old drag, old drag, old drag. Can you see I'm actually blending in the same way her face was? So if she was facing this other side, I'd have probably brushed this way. But because her face is contoured this way, the shape of her face is what I'm following. So if I blend it the other way around, it could give her a flat face or probably a face might just cave in a little and trust me you really don't want to mess up anybody's wedding pictures it's, it's too dangerous all right so okay so i'm going to reduce the size of this i'm going to reduce the size of my brush because i'm brushing a pretty small area i'm going to brush on these two brush on these brush on this part too blend it in a little since the makeup artist has decided not to blend it in eh? so you blend it in then <coughs> oh sugar I pressed the wrong button it's loading 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 wants to save but no I'm not saving so I'm going to quit yeah <laughs> all right so let me increase this a little yeah then i'll continue brushing let me brush it brush it brush it brush 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 now i'm gonna blend this into blend 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 this i'm gonna blend this too yeah now i am done with the nose right we're done with the nose now we can start blending this you can see i'm just smoothing smoothing it out i'm not brushing light into darkness and i'm not brushing darkness into light so i'm just softening the edges of a blush in this life collect good makeup artists they'll do half of the work for you as a retoucher okay so my system is telling me I'm going too fast, so I need to reduce my speed. Okay, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, under the nose, be careful when you're brushing this part, so you don't brush what you are not meant to brush, or so you won't brush what you don't want to brush. And in case your brush decides to stray and then brush what you don't want to brush it's easy just select your eraser tool here that's where your eraser tool is they just erase just erase it off just erase the edges off okay let's go back to our brush tool and then finish off the chain area okay let's come down a little to our neck so slow and steady there's no rushing there is no rushing so one thing i've noticed about rush edits is that it never comes out the way you really want it to come out so when you're giving a delivery time to your clients just try as much as possible to be fair to yourself yeah, Nigeria, you say, ah, don't worry, you get your pictures in three days and decide, and Nepal decides that your transformer will spoil and they won't repair it until one week. Then you put yourself under pressure, you need to deliver. Now you need to go and buy fuel. Fuel is not cheap, it is 600 and 10 naira per liter. And then you want to edit every within three hours you want to edit 10 pictures in three hours that is practically impossible so to make it possible you have to rush and when you rush you don't pick the details you miss out on the details and then you just want to drop something for the clients because you don't want to disappoint the client and then you end up sending what the clients wouldn't like 
so the whole purpose of you buying fall and rushing is defeated which is quite sad okay so we are done brushing the neck now I'm waiting for my system to catch up with whatever I have done unfortunately I didn't do anything because I selected eraser to instead of brush and I didn't look up okay so I need to do this all over again aha I actually thought my system wasn't catching up with me unfortunately I was one that was not catching up with myself alright so I need to repaint all this brush 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 keep brushing don't stop brushing keep brushing keep brushing okay now it is my system not me it is my system that needs to catch up let's come back to the neck and see if we can we can touch it up a little okay don't let it be too much so the neck won't be flat so the neck won't start looking like the neck off okay so I think we're done with this image so we will click on high frequency to show the page to make it visible and after that we are going to see the result of whatever we just did if we overbrushed or underbrushed man this look this is looking sweet this is looking sweet this is looking Mwah. so we started here and we ended here in fact we started we started here yeah and then we ended it all here okay so now let us color grade so we're coming back to our command alt shift e or control alt shift e if you're on windows then you can actually come here and copy your color grading copy that's control c or you can come to edit my system is angry with me for telling you too much you come to edit and then you copy since you've selected then you come back here <sighs> okay come back here because we've created a new layer and then you paste Ooh, fresh all right so you need to adjust this once you click on this you come back to your pick to oh sorry move to right is it move yeah move to then you push this up I don't want vignettes on top so I'm pushing it I'm pushing it to give me a, a even an even um, tone then you can leave this put it back leave this put it back depending on what you want depending on how you want it alright so that is that we my um, video tutorial on frequency separation we mix the brush too thank you so much for coming around see you guys when next we see if you have questions I think um, okay so this video should go on YouTube um, then if you have questions I think there's a way mr. BC would get that arranged alright so guys take care of yourself and stay safe bye